so i am going to design a positioning stop component in fusion 360 first of all we have to change the units or verify the units go to browser document setting and here click on this icon change active units the units required is inches for this design and then open this sketch and i am going to open the sketch on this plane the front plane you can also see here x and y x and z y and z so we needed x and z this plane so now the plane is in front of you and in the 3d view uh, cube you can see the front is here so select the line tool and the first line i am going to draw a reference line in the center so to make it the reference line uh, we can change it here if you if you can see here the sketch palette we, we have different option line type a construction or a center line so we needed a construction line uh, activate this and draw vertical line so now the line is in the dotted form which is telling us this is a construction line and click here on select now again select the line tool and this time deactivate this line type the construction so it is not selected if it's selected line will be a construction line so deselect it and now uh, draw the half half portion of this sketch so i am going to draw a horizontal line and then i am going to draw a vertical line and then a line at some angle and then i am going to uh, draw a horizontal line and connect it with this construction line okay and press select now you can see the some uh, some automatic constraints are added here so if you don't need it you can also delete it okay next we have to define the dimension so like this is this is the reference line and we are going to draw a half sketch so this one according to drawing i am going to put half two and then from this point to this point this dimension is 2.5 2.5 and select and you can see we have to make this point drag it in that direction if the sketch become weird so like that if it's like that you have to drag this point like here so that the sketch make the sense okay next we have to define the dimensions the remaining dimension from this point to this point we have the total dimension of 1.25 but we are going to divide it so put the divide and two and divide this dimension now we have this dimension and next we are select this line and this dimension is 1.75 now you can see your sketch is fully defined so press select so so that you are uh, deselected the command this sketch command which was selected uh, previously okay now if you go to the create command create expand it and you can see here a mirror command so select this one mirror this pop-up window will show here its objects and mirror line so it's asking which object you want to mirror we want to mirror these lines so select all the lines which you want to mirror and then mirror line select this option click here on select and select this line so this half portion is mirrored in other side with the reference of this line press ok and finish the sketch now this is the first sketch and now we can use the extrude so press on extrude and the pop-up window of the extrude is here it's asking type we want to extrude then profile which profile we want to select this profile it's already selected and this arrow if you drag it you you are going to add the material so we have to uh, specify this uh, thickness which is 0 0.25 now this first feature is design and you can see here on this timeline first we make the sketch then we did this use this feature and if this this bar if you go here this symbol is a pair if you drag it in that direction now you can see the the extrude is disappear okay now we needed to add a sketch so click here on this uh, sketch create sketch and we can i either select this face or we can also select this front face so it's your choice i'm going going to select this plane now again the sketch will be in front of you 
now we have to put some circles three circle first one here and just randomly put a circle here then two other circle like that and now we needed to define the diameter of these circles so the bigger circle it has a diameter of 1.25 and for the smaller circle we have the diameter of 0 0.5 and the, this circle it also has the same diameter so press select so you do deactivated this dimension command and now we are going to add a constraint which is equal constraint so select equal select this circle and this circle now you can see a equal symbol appear in, um, with these two circles it's telling us these two uh, uh, circles have a constraint between them which is equal equal constraint now the diameter of both these circles are equal okay next we have to define an other constraint which is horizontal so select the horizontal and then select the center of this circle and center of this circle now these two center will be facing each other on a horizontal line and next again we have to define a vertical relation between this line and this origin so select this origin and select this center not line the center of this circle so now they are also horizontal with each other now we are going to define some uh, dimension so from this point to this point this has the dimension of 0 0.75 and same way on the other side it has the dimension of 0 0.75 75 0 0.75 and now we needed to specify the dimension between this center and this line so this dimension is given 0 0.75 so by adding the horizontal relation between them we don't need it to add a dimension like that it's already added and if we add it we are going to over constrain this sketch okay now we needed to specify the position dimension of this circle so from this point to this point between these two points it has the uh, dimension of 1.25 like that okay and we don't need it to define the other position dimension because we already defined the uh, vertical relation between uh, these two center the center of the circle and this origin exit the sketch home view so we have the isometric view select this extrude and now we need it to select the profiles we want to uh, cut this profile this profile and this profile now you can see we have a arrow here if we extrude it in that direction we are adding the material but basically we needed to remove the material so in operation type is join but we want to cut the material so when you cut the material our error is appear because your our direction is not correct so we needed to change the direction in the other side and we want to make a cut through this whole uh, body or this surface so here on extend time we can select all so it will make the cut through all of this object okay home view and we remove the material from these circular locations so this is the positioning stop uh, model and it's completed thank you so much